As we all know too well, power bills are rising with Australia's energy grid under pressure. But there seems to be at least one winner from that, providers of battery storage. Battery sales are already booming amongst the rapidly growing number of households using, using solar power. And it could escalate even further off the back of recommendations contained in the Finkel report into Australia's energy needs. Matt Peacock reports. This block of units in Perth is a glimpse of Australia's energy future. The solar power generated from its rooftop panels can be shared between tenants and what you don't use, you can sell to your neighbour. It could change fundamentally the way consumers uh, buy and sell electricity. Up until now, you, the consumers have had to go to a retailer to buy energy, and if they wanted to sell their energy back into the grid, they've been forced to sell it to the retailer as well. But using this software, they can sell their energy directly to their next door neighbour. Using the same technology employed to make secure financial transactions on the internet, computers keep track of the energy as it's transferred between users. David Martin, who's pioneered this software, believes it'll open up domestic solar power to many who can't currently access it. Our system allows people who can't afford to put PV on their roof or whose house is pointed in the wrong direction or they're covered in shade to buy energy off their next door neighbour. So at least you can benefit from the availability of cheaper, greener electricity by buying it from your next door neighbour. It's just one of a multitude of smart grid models that are now proliferating across the world as the price of solar plummets. But when the sun doesn't shine and the wind doesn't blow, there's another technology now booming, batteries. The most common technology is lithium-ion batteries. So it's a, the same type of battery actually that sits in your mobile phone and it's actually the exact same battery pack that is getting put into all these electric vehicles which are now coming to market. So it's a huge new industry that's being created to manufacture large-scale uh, battery packs for electric vehicles and for energy storage. Bloomberg's Kobab Bhavnagri predicts solar plus batteries will carve out a major slice of the Australian grid. We forecast that by 2040, almost half of every building in Australia, be that your factory or you know, the household, will have a solar system. And a quarter of all those buildings will have a storage system as well. So when you add all that together, we see distributed energy supplying about a quarter of Australia's national energy needs in 2040. But that still leaves three quarters of our energy coming from a central power generator, whether it's old coal, newer gas and the renewables, wind and solar, still distributed on traditional power grids. And now Australia's chief scientist, Alan Finkel, recommends all large-scale renewable generators, wind and solar, must also have energy storage capacity. And we have the opportunity to make a more robust system, and we should. The Finkel recommendation aligns with a worldwide trend to increase storage capacity as battery prices continue to fall. And the United States, the UK, Asia, and ever globally, the utility uh, start picking up the storage system. They understand the need of storage system today. Storage is also very likely to go in at your local substation. Um, so, you know, the, the building with no windows that's uh, on, 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 on the corner in your suburb, that's probably going to have a lot of storage in it because it adds resilience to the system. Um, it makes uh, operating the network uh, better, stronger and also cheaper. We're going to give ourselves real teeth in this plan to take control of our energy future. Sorry about the, the power cut. Already after a string of damaging blackouts, South Australian Premier Jay Weatherall has announced a major grid-scale battery storage facility to be completed this year. It followed an angry spat with the Federal Minister, Josh Frydenberg. I've got to say, it is a little galling to be standing here next to a man that's been standing up with his Prime Minister, bagging South Australia at every step of the way. Not to be outdone, the Prime Minister is investigating another form of stored energy with a study into expanding the Snowy Mountain Scheme, where, at the touch of a switch, water can be released that drives turbines. Snowy Hydro 2.0. Now, both Victoria and Queensland have also commissioned huge battery storage units to be up and running within three years. 
All of those governments now are turning to storage as a way to bolster the system. And the beauty of storage is you can get that built in six months. You can, you can put in a battery that's big enough to shore up the reliability of a grid in just six months. And you can also build us a new solar farm in under 12 months. Ike Hong represents the massive South Korean battery manufacturer Kokum, which is bidding for the power storage contracts in all three states. South Korea already has adopted battery technology, even though almost a third of its power is generated by nuclear reactors. And last year, when a nuclear reactor tripped, it saved the day. So last year, one of uh, nuclear power plant in Korea tripped and then there is a shortage on, on power supply. And the Korean government already installed a couple hundred megawatt storage system in the past three years. And, and those storage systems, uh, they continue to uh, support dispatch power to the grid to maintain the frequency uh, to prevent the blackout. Whatever the modern mix of energy or grid, it seems, battery power is here to stay. The picture that's emerging around the world is that um, we can get to about 40, maybe 50 percent renewables in the existing electricity system without too much trouble. We do need innovation. We do need uh, things like storage to help to shore up the system um, as more and more renewables come in and make system management more complicated. Mm -hmm.